everybody knows Mr. Porter. We're going to do the dedication for this uh, Veterans Plaza, and I want you to know that um, this man here, sorry, each and every one of you, he loves us. He loves the veterans and what we do, and he was willing to do something on, on a moment, one meeting, and asked, what can we do to make this better? Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Porter. What an honor it is to be here today. Thank you, Mark. You know, we're here to remember all the men and women that gave the ultimate sacrifice for our country. But I also today want to remember and honor all the veterans that have served that are from Putnam County. So if you're here today and you are a veteran, would you please stand so we can honor you? Thank you for your service and what you did for our country. We'll never forget it. I want to thank everyone that took part in today's program, especially Commissioner Baker and Ms. Fair for being our speakers this morning. I also want to thank our veteran service officer, Mark Harris and Mike Glass, along with our veterans organizations for organizing today's event. You know, today is a special day in Putnam County as we dedicate our new Veterans Memorial Plaza. I started talking with Mark Harris and John Albertson about creating a new plaza to honor all of our veterans here in Putnam County, especially the ones that gave the ultimate sacrifice. We started looking at what we could do uh, here at the courthouse and brainstorming about what was possible. And after about two years, some things got in the way. We wanted to do it quicker, but we had a devastating tornado that hit Putnam County. We had the pandemic, we weren't able to meet. It took us a couple years to make this happen, but what you see here today uh, happened because of these folks and the, the, the brainstorming and the being able to look and, and see what was possible. And I think they did a very great job in, in what we have here today. <laughs> the Veterans Plaza was designed that it would be here for many, many years to come to be able to honor our veterans. We moved our wall from down in the corner to where it is today. You know, after I came in office in 2014, I watching on a day-to-day -day basis of our veterans, some in wheelchairs, some on walkers with canes, coming, standing down on the very corner to look at the wall and to read the names and to remember. Uh, I got concerned that all it would take is a vehicle a swerving a little bit out of the way could be a disaster. So we wanted to move it to where that it would be safe and everyone could be able to come and see it to read those 163 names that are on the wall. We did the six service flags in recognition of the service organizations of the military. We built and created a new eternal flame that we'll talk about just a little bit later on. And I think we created through the thoughtfulness and, and vision of several people uh, a great Veterans Memorial Plaza here at the courthouse. You know, the names on the Putnam County Memorial Wall are of those we hold in high esteem. To the men and women who served our nation with honor and distinction during a time of turmoil and who walked into the valley of the shadow of death and paid the ultimate sacrifice for our freedom. We rededicate our memorial that continually reminds us the cost of freedom and the internal flame reflects the light of each who paid it. I think President Reagan said it best, and we actually put it on our new memorial. And if words cannot repay the debt we owe to these men, surely with our actions, we must strive to keep faith with them and with the vision that led them to battle and to final sacrifice. As any project is, we had a lot of partners involved in this, and I'll thank those a little later on, but one of our partners was the city of Cookville that we constantly work with on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, I have to say we have a great group of elected officials here in Putnam County, whether it be the county elected officials or state elected officials, city officials, we all work great together and I think that shows here in Putnam County and it has allowed us to achieve all the great things we have. I'd like you to help me welcome this morning my good friend, Couple Mayor Ricky Shelton to come up.
Thank you. First, I want to commend County Mayor Porter, Parks and Rec Director John Ross Albertson, Mark Harris, the Veteran Service Officer, and their team that has designed, created, and built this beautiful Veterans Memorial Plaza. What an amazing and symbolic area. Please join me again in thanking and congratulating them on a job well done. Today we remember and honor brave men and women who have fought and paid the ultimate sacrifice. It takes extreme courage to defend duty, honor, country. I believe it's important and it's necessary in light of occurrences in our nation that we show honor where honor is due. That we prove we are a people who will not sit, kneel, or be idle when given an opportunity to salute our nation's heritage and heroes. True patriots throughout the history of our country have proven that the nation's fate has always rested on those who would stand, brave individuals who would honor our flag and country and all it represents. Our veterans deserve the honor due them. President John F. Kennedy gave some sage advice years ago when he said, as we express our gratitude, we must never forget that the highest appreciation is not to utter words, but to live by them. It doesn't matter what race you are, who you voted for, your political party, what gender you are, or if you're rich or poor. On Memorial Day, every single one of us has the right to be whoever and whatever we want because men and women gave their life. A complete stranger took a bullet for each of us. They didn't ask our political party, sexual orientation, race or religion. Men and women came before us and fought so that we could live in a land that allowed us to arm ourselves, worship freely, create wealth, gather here today and be as different or as normal as we wanted. On Memorial Day, we the people, every single one of us should show respect and honor to those who have come before us and who have paid the ultimate price so that we can live in the greatest country on earth and have the freedom to do and be whatever we want. Nothing ignites anger within me quicker than seeing or hearing someone disrespect active military personnel or a veteran. How anyone could feel anything but compassion for these heroes is beyond me. Unfortunately, that happens all too often in our country. But here in Cookville, we will always show honor and appreciation. John 15, 13 says, greater love has no one than this, that a person will lay down his life for his friends. To every soul that served, thank you. Your efforts and sacrifices were not in vain. It's been my distinct honor and privilege to share with you today. God bless you and your families. God bless our troops and veterans and may God bless Cookville, Tennessee and the United States of America. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor Shelton, and thank you for everything that uh, you do for us. There's several people to thank today. Uh, Eric and David Bond of Bond's Monument for moving the wall and creating uh, the new monument. Uh, I don't know if they're here today, but uh, we are very have deep gratitude to them for doing this. David Prouse and Bennett Industries for creating the new eternal flame that we're going to light here today. Mark Harris and the Veterans Organizations for helping us with the design of this plaza. Dennis McBroom and Daryl Tucker in the maintenance department for having put all this together. And finally, but most of all, John Albertson, Cody Maynard, and the Parks and Recreation Department that made this happen. They put a lot of time and effort. They've been working about 42 days on this, uh, this plaza, and they have done a great job. Can we give all those folks a round of applause? Also, we would like to thank Stonecom Radio for being here today, for providing the sound system and for live broadcasting today's event. Family Wellness Pharmacy and Jefferson Avenue Church of Christ for providing uh, refreshments uh, for you here today. Please partake of those uh, before you leave if you haven't already. Let me finally say, we love our veterans in Putnam County. My dad was a Vietnam veteran and I promised when I came into office that I would do everything I could to help honor all of our veterans. And I think here in Putnam County, we do a great job of honoring them. Do you agree with me? As we dedicate the new Veterans Memorial Plaza today, we'll be raising the six service flags, lighting the eternal flame, and placing the wreaths. 
I want to thank each and every one of you for being here today that has made, and also the ones that have made today's ceremony possible. May God continue to bless Putnam County. Thank you. As you can see, we have a veteran service organization team that will be raising the colors. We have American Legion Post 46, Steve Ogie. We have American Legion Post 135, Bill Kelman. Disabled American Veterans, Chapter 117, Tracy McKay. Vietnam Veterans of America, Chapter 741, Red Demery. VFW, Veterans of Foreign War, Post 6296, Jimmy Loftus. AMVETS, Chapter 44, James Martis. And the Combat Motorcycle Association, Post 18-7, Tony Schiante. The laying of these wreaths on our uh, monument of fallen heroes symbolizes our respect for each name on our wall and demonstrates that our heroes are not forgotten but remembered with pride and honor for their service and sacrifice they rendered to our nation and community. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise as Chaplain Ritter will give our benediction and remain standing for the placement of the wreaths uh, by our service.